bought this at Ralph's. This is my victory. Congratulations reward. I went to Robex. They were closed. That's so sad. Drink simple maple water. Original. I've never had this before. Just tastes like water. Today's a little bit different. I'm not going into office. I make my own pour over coffee. It's okay. Ethiopia, I don't know how to say that second word. Yagara chavaravaf. Gonna do something a little bit different today because I pulled a 12 hour day yesterday. Gonna go to some rival territory. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. It's not really rival. These are my clothes I just woke up in. Gotta go change. All right, let's go. I'm here. In rival territory. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. This is not rival territory. I only joke because uh, I used to teach at another school. It's not really rival. I'm just joking. What's up, man? Yeah, thank you, you so it. much. You this made it, Dr. John. Yeah, I'm Hello. here right in on. his hood. Welcome to APU. Yes, this is like my third time here. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Newest book just came out. Buy oh, you that book. Go Power buy it. With my book. Where all the magic happens, y'all. Open my office. This is the Bat Cave. We're coming in. I am in the office of Dr. Alexander Jun of APU. I, I gotta show you this, you guys. This is dope. Oh boy. What is this? Never, Dude! Never before seen footage. <laughs> yo, yo. One of the greatest rappers ever, man. All right? Taken too soon, actually, okay? Sadly. Dr. Jun, is there a story behind this here? Uh, there is, but it's not suitable for the <laughs> vlog. All right, all right. That's, that's uh, for director's cut. All right, director's <laughs> cut, all right? Just had an awesome time. Awesome, awesome time with Dr. Alexander Jun. Oh, man. If anyone goes to APU, Take a class with Dr. Alexander Jun. This guy's the man, dude. Uh, I first met him briefly back in October. Just heard like a 15 minute seminar that he did. Everything he was saying, I was like on the same wavelength. I was like, man, I gotta get to know this guy. I appreciate him so much. He took two hours out of his day to meet with me. We uh, did this interview. But for real, guys, you guys need to take a class with this guy. He is awesome. He's also uh, an elder. He is a ruling elder, New Life Presbyterian Church in Fullerton. Long time church. They've been there for um, a long time. If y'all looking for a church, go check out New Life Presbyterian Church in Fullerton. I know a lot of people there. Solid church. I think the. The senior pastor, the preaching pastor there is a guy named William or Will. I'll put the link down below. Check it out, guys. Great church. As you know, I'm a coffee guy. I love coffee. And here in APU land, I looked up coffee and I found the coffee shop with four and a half stars on Yelp with a lot of reviews. Time to evaluate them and be the judge. I'm not a coffee expert. I just really like coffee. Let's go check them out. All right, I'm here at Mantra Coffee. If you have been to Mantra Coffee, comment below. Tell me if you like this coffee place. Really nice decor. What's up? Hi. Never been here before. Well, welcome. Show Glad me, uh, show me the good stuff. It's Ethiopian. This guy right here. Uh, and then we're also yeah, uh, You want to try a, a sample of the coffee? Oh, I'll be awesome. Yeah. Dude, sweet. What nice people! They're gonna give me a free sample. Where are you from? I'm from Brea. Do you know where that is? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Bruxy's over there. Oh, yeah. great. Fire. Great place. Waffle burgers. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna leave. Sorry, dude. I almost left without paying. 
almost got arrested right now. This is my homie Red. What's up? He gave me a, a free uh, was a sample of Columbia coffee. These guys do it right here. They take care of the customers. We're gonna treat Thank you, you like my a man. Hey, Brody, all right? Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah. We got a good spot here. Anything you guys want to say to the coffee lovers out there? Come to Mantra. Come hang out. Come to Mantra. Come to hang out. Do you guys have like a mantra? Like a, a theme? First and foremost, we love people <laughs> and happen to make damn good coffee. That's the mantra. Yeah. You hear that? This guy's awesome. This guy's awesome. This place is awesome. Coffee time, guys. Got their regular drip. They had Columbia. It's got a really nice, nice vibe. Lots of places to sit. Lots of places to study. Any coffee shop with a blue deer is awesome. Simple coffee, smooth, but not bright. No real finish though, there's no real finish with this. And remember, coffee is subjective, so my palate might not be as good as yours. Yeah, but it's not bad. I would come here again. Their drip coffee is it, it, cool. I'm not, I'm not a coffee snob. This is good stuff here, good stuff. Come to Mantra, just for those two guys alone. Good vibes, good vibes here. The original plan was to come here and I was gonna vlog, I was gonna talk to some students, and then I realized, oh dude, it's summertime. No one's here. I'm gonna try my best to find some stragglers. I'm gonna show you the area that's usually popping with students, like seriously popping. Like this is where everyone comes to eat lunch and stuff like that. So let me show you this and show you what it looks like right now. So exciting here. I don't know what you expect. University bookstore. Maybe I'm gonna talk to the people inside since they have nowhere to go. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Yo, Brandon, my friend Brandon, who graduated from here. What is this? Where am I at? This is called Heritage Court. Yo, this is a dope area. Check this out. I think this is kind of like their eating hall. They're just, yes, this is where they eat. Look at this. The market at Heritage. Are you a student here at ATU? I'm not. I'm actually a uh, strength and conditioning coach here. Oh, bro, I'm a gym rat, dude. Oh, yeah. I go 24 yeah. like five days a week. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Um, Nate, I wanted to ask you a question about the church. You go out to church? Yes. Awesome. What do you think, what, what's one thing you would love the church to focus on? I mean, we, we do have a community, a good community base, I think. Um, that's handled pretty well. Um, Maybe just more life guidelines as far as what a Christian today looks like as far as living their life day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. Um, and then maybe just establishing some, some goals as far as uh, Christian lifestyle, what that would be to kind of, I guess, progress and walk with Christ and faith in, in that sense. Awesome. Does that make sense? All right. Yeah, I know. That's All great. Right. Amanda, what's one thing you would love the church to focus on more? Um, so I have two, I have twins who are headed into middle school next year, and I know that middle school is such a, like, crucial time in kids' lives. I would love the church to really focus in on middle school students and, and have them develop their faith and have it become yes. their own, because as yes. they get older and, like, stepping away from the church is such a big factor for people that um, I, I would love to see them focus more in on that group of kids. Yeah, you know, what's one thing that you would want the church to focus on more? Um, I would say because I want to be a secondary math teacher, so mm -hmm. I would say like definitely focusing on like high school students, and because um, that's like a really pivotal time in um, like that age group, and um, I think because like when students go off to college, like they need to have like that strong foundation, so like they are influenced by outside factors and professors. Yes. So, so important. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thanks, Gina. Yeah. You did it. It was so good. <laughs> she did a great job. She was so nervous. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, no Appreciate it. Ron, what's uh, one thing that you want the church to focus on more? Christ. Christ. That's it. Just preach Jesus. Right. right. Awesome. Hey, I'll take that answer. All right. I'm going to go over this way. All right. What's one thing you want the church to focus on more? Uh, I guess just child ministries. 
Yeah. Elementary nursery. Great. Right. Yeah. Like That's teaching kids. They don't have it. It says it would be nice if it was like in a really specific age. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Diversity. Diversity. So the, the church hour is the most segregated. It's common saying it's the most segregated hour mm-hmm. and the entire, the entire week. Yeah. Um, so how can we integrate more... Uh, different practices, not different practices, but... The multi-ethnicity and stuff like yes, that? Yeah. yeah. Um, get more cultures, yes. rather than just one mono-ethnic monoculture. Yes. One thing would just be just God. God. Like, nothing else would matter. It's like, yo, my fellowship and everything else, that's what you should focus on. Right. It's like, it shouldn't matter about, oh, our building fund or anything like that, like, strictly on the word and how that could help other people. think you think they're gonna be in this there's only one way to find out let's go ask them hey violet um if your friends went to church okay what do you think is the first thing that they would look for what's the first thing they would look for when they when they go to church like the first thing that attracted them no like they enter church like they walk into the doors like what's the first thing they're gonna be looking for the person that's gonna give the speech okay yeah so they're looking for like the teaching pastor or like the person who's teaching yeah so that's the thing they're gonna go to right away yeah okay i think it would be that what about aesthetically let's say like the service didn't start yet what do they? What do you think they're going to be gravitating towards, or uh, what's going to the attract them? Seat. The back seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, the back seats. For sure. Yeah, because you don't want to sit all the way in the front. Right. Because if especially, especially if you're new, right? Uh huh. Okay, the back seats. I've never heard that answer before. I love that answer. I love it. Okay. I, know, I used to look for the back seat. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's kind of scary sitting in the front. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. No I really problem. appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry to bother you guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. Here are my closing thoughts for today's vlog. You know, after coming out of my time with Dr. Alexander Jun, I'm reminded of the importance of mentors and coaches. Everyone should have mentors and coaches in their life. Uh, multiple mentors would actually really be good too. Why are multiple mentors good? Because if you think about it, sometimes different mentors and coaches are good at different things. Maybe you have a super mentor, that is good at everything, family life, skill sets, hobbies, how to relax, how to give good advice. I think that uh, a lot of times people are good in certain areas and that's why you have a mentor for like how to be a good parent or another mentor who you could just kind of dump on and just kind of vomit on. You just want to give them all your problems and they know how to organize your thoughts. Or maybe for those of you who have specific skill sets, you have mentors to teach you how to play basketball better or how to um, scrapbook, I don't know. One mentor that I hope all of you will have is a mentor that really watches your character. Character is so important. And this is a mentor who's really kind of a life coach, not just a life coach for business and sales, but a life coach. I'm talking about the being, not really the doing. A life coach that looks out for your being, a life coach that looks out for your character. And they're the ones who could tell you that you need more patience in life or try to be more gentle here. Or they make suggestions about how you have to be more kind-hearted and loving and gracious, things like that. And they're really making sure that you're navigating life with solid character. As a Christian, you know, we're trying to be like Jesus. But if you're not a Christian, don't you want to be more kind, more patient, more loving, more gracious, learn how to have self-control? That's all the same stuff That's to us be like Jesus but it's also character so find a life coach I have multiple mentors in my life that I meet up with not weekly monthly sometimes I only meet with them every two or three months but these are all people that give me honest feedback and truth but also I ask questions I ask deep questions about my own life and I'm really eager to hear their perspective those are my closing thoughts thanks for watching guys I'm here at APU to my friend Brandon, you're probably so happy that I'm here. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. It actually helps me a lot, supports me a lot. Hit that like button and leave comments down below. Tell me what it is you guys wanna see, what it is that you wanna hear about, 
and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. So here's a question for you. What kind of mentors are you looking for? Write that in the comments below. What kind of mentors do you want? What kind of mentors are you seeking after? Let me know. I want to know what kind of mentors you're interested in. And uh, for those that know me and I know you, maybe I can help you find some of those mentors. Tell me the answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you.